Did you know God talked about a holiday that someday all nations will celebrate together? Your knee-jerk reaction might be to guess either Christmas or Easter, but it is none other than the Jewish festival of Sukkot, also known as the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths. Somewhere between a telephone booth and your favorite corner booth at a local restaurant, but we'll get into that later. So what exactly is Sukkot? For starters, it's the last of the three pilgrimage feasts, Passover and Shavuot being the other two earlier in the year. For these feasts, the Jewish people travel on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem whenever possible to celebrate all together. But is Sukkot talked about in the Bible? The answer is yes. In Leviticus 23, God commanded Moses, speak to the people of Israel saying, on the 15th day of the seventh month, and for seven days is the Feast of Booths. When you have gathered the produce of the land, you shall celebrate the Feast of the Lord. It is a statute forever throughout your generations. You shall dwell in booths for seven days, that your generations may know that I made the people of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. The whole purpose behind this holiday is to remember how God brought them out of slavery and into freedom while providing for them all along the way. And these are reasons to celebrate. The telltale sign that the holiday is underway are the Sukkot, booths, tabernacles that one can spot outside Jewish homes for the whole week. They are like decorated forts on their balcony or in the yard. Think camping. Well. It's more like glamping. People traditionally decorate them with harvest fruits, lights, and lots of color. It's a family affair and something that kids look forward to for months. Then they dwell in their sukkah for seven days, just as the Lord commanded to remember their time in the wilderness. And it gets even better. It wasn't exclusive for only the people of Israel to celebrate. This is something God expanded the camp from just his chosen people to all people. God encouraged Moses to gather all men, women, children, along with the foreigners of their land so they could learn to fear the Lord. Even way back then, God was training Israel to be a light to the nations. He desired to dwell with them during the Feast of Tabernacles. And hundreds of years later, he sent his son Emmanuel, which means God with us, to dwell with us forever. In the book of Revelation, we look forward to the somewhat constant Sukkot celebration, when God will once again dwell on earth with us. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He will dwell with them. They shall be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. This powerful image of the sukkah or tabernacle serves to commemorate God's dwelling among his chosen people in the wilderness. It's also a beautiful invitation to all of us to dwell with him forever. And now that's something we're celebrating together.